Welcome everyone to another Techie Tip, and today we're going to be taking a look at, well, some people I should say are a little concerned about the privacy of Windows 10. And there's an application out there that is going to hopefully help those people have a sigh of relief and relax a little bit. Now, for those of you who don't know, Windows 10 has implemented a whole bunch of tracking options, quotation marks, uh, that are kind of on the edge of invading your privacy. Things such as Wi-Fi Sense. It actually takes your Wi-Fi password and can share it with your contacts. Now keep in mind everyone, this doesn't mean they're gonna actually see your password. It just essentially means that they can connect to your Wi-Fi network by using it through your contacts. So they don't actually get to know your password. So you're still in control, but a lot of people don't know that this is actually happening. So that's where it's a little bit controversial. Um, and there's a couple other things too that uh, Microsoft has been doing in the sense of tracking their users and uh, clicks, things like that, where they're going for different options. And it's kind of a little bit creepy to some people. Uh, now, personally, I don't see it as a major issue just because people are going to track you either way. I mean, it's really hard nowadays to not be tracked. Your ISP does it all the time, for instance. I mean, unless you use a uh, VPN 24-7, your ISP knows exactly where you're going in the internet. Now, granted, if you're having multiple people using your internet connection, it's harder to track an ind individual person. But if you're a single person inside of that household using just one internet connection, Essentially, they got your name, your address, social security number, and everything like that. And now, seeing you're the only one using the internet connection, they basically know exactly where you're going on the internet. So there's been ways of tracking for years. It's just now Microsoft is making it public in a sense of implementing a few more things and telling people about it. So I'm not too concerned about it personally. Uh, but I know some people are, and so there's an application, luckily, by O&O Software. Uh, I think they're, well, they're not, definitely not based in America, judging by that phone number right there. Um, but don't know exactly where they are based out of. Uh, I read it somewhere before. Uh, Germany, it looks like. There you go. Made in Berlin. So, that answers that. Uh, continuing on, then. So, yeah, it's a simple little lightweight application. doesn't even need to be installed. Essentially, you just uh, download it right here, and uh, we'll extract it. And there it is. So now all you have to do is now, guys, keep in mind, run this as administrator. Now, it doesn't specify to do this, but it always helps to make things run smoother if you run them as administrator. So right-click, run as administrator. I just got in that habit. I suggest you guys get in the habit, too. So uh, we're going to go ahead and click yes on those user account controls. And we're going to wait for the app to open. It doesn't take too long. It's just got to open itself up here. Once it does, you're presented with a nice little interface right here. Now, going through the interface, at first it looks a little bit confusing, but once you understand it, it is actually quite straightforward. The green check marks indicate that these are recommended options, saying you can go ahead and toggle them on and that you're not going to harm anything. The uh, yellow triangles right here indicate that it could affect some functionality of Windows, but they are also related to privacy, or some people could consider them a privacy issue. So you can go ahead and disable them uh, as if you wish, but keep in mind you may have some uh, features of Windows that you do use that might be affected and affect your experience with Windows in turn. And then obviously the red exclamation point right here indicates that uh, you probably do not want to disable it. Yes, there are some possible privacy issues with this application, Windows Defender, but um, you, doesn't, you necessarily don't want to disable it. Now, obviously, if you use a third-party anti-malware software, you can go ahead and disable Windows Defender. In fact, it's recommended. Usually, most of them will disable it automatically. However, always check and make sure it's disabled because you don't want to be running two anti-malware engines unless the anti-malware engine is designed to be run alongside another one, if that makes any sense. I know it's kind of confusing, but um, try to make it as simple as possible. So yeah, um, essentially that's what you got right here. Now, um, interesting, that one's on. I don't know why that's on. Um, so what we can do here is let's go up, and there's an Actions button right up here. We go to Actions, and we have a bunch of different options here. We can apply all the actions. We can apply all the recommended and limited recommended actions. Or we can apply all the recommended actions. You click all Apply All Recommended Actions. What it's going to do, it's going to say, hey, we 
probably probably should create a restore point here just in case uh, something really bad happens. Well, this is a virtual machine, so I'm not going to do that, but I'd recommend you guys doing that. Advise us. It's strongly recommended, so create yourself a restore point. Uh, but for the sake of video, we're not going to do that. And there we go. That's it. Now you basically have blocked all of the tracking options uh, within Windows that are at least blockable to the point where they will not affect your experience for the most part. So yeah, um, it's actually quite creepy um, if you read some of these, what they actually are capable of doing, such as tracking your handwriting. Um, that's something that is just, to me, unnecessary. Now, granted, Microsoft claims that it's to help Windows learn and stuff like that for um, basically uh, rendering your handwriting into text, things like that. So, I mean, I can see where it's useful, but on the other hand, I can see where people would take that as kind of an invasion of privacy. Like I said, personally, I'm not too concerned about it. I think people are just overhyping it, considering that things like this have been happening for quite a long time. It just now seems that everybody's up in arms about it. So uh, that's basically it for this video, guys. Not much to talk about this application. It just does the work for you instead of you having to go into the group policy manager or registry, things like that, and manually do this stuff. It does it automatically for you. Um, so yeah, not much. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope to get some more videos out soon. I have been getting some numbers, and in fact, I did get a actual page of a fake tech support, so we should be able to do a pretty convincing uh, scam to the scammers, if you want to call it that. Scamming the scammers, right? So, uh, yeah, we should be able to get another video out with that pretty soon. I just got to get some more uh, burner minutes on my phone, and uh, we'll be good to go on that. So, that's it. Talk to you guys later.